what is up everybody it is your boy fry thank you once again for tuning in to another video definitely make sure to smash that like button in today's video we're going to be covering how to get some spotify ready vocals using stock plugins in fl studio so if you are engineering for somebody or you are planning to release your own music on streaming services we're definitely going to look at some techniques to make sure that post compression your vocals and your beats are still sounding good whilst streaming so if you've been struggling to get that right then this is definitely the video for you um, you know really we want to make sure that we're treating the top end make sure that we're not overdoing any of the treble so that you know just the way that um, you compress audio down to a lossy format for example mp3 or aac which is what most people are listening on as well as just the overall compression that the streaming services are applying um, you know there's certain ways to kind of deal with that um, and you know we can get into more depth i can do a mastering tutorial later on um, in the month really looking at how we can make sure our mixes sound good but nonetheless man let's get straight into the mix hop on the computer as always check out the links below for my vocal recording course vocal mixing course and vocal enhancer all for fl studio if you're into that let's get into it all right let's get straight into the video so yeah man we got a really nice vocal chain running some stock plugins in fl studio and we're gonna get going man so you know what i really want to break down and emphasize in this video is making use of saturation to get a better sound there are two free plugins which i highly recommend you pick up you know we can do the bulk of the job with stock plugins but we can also make use of a few free plugins and if so why not so yeah man let's play the track we have this is a track which i think represents spotify's sound pretty well this is the little skies take five track we listened to his album and i've just been enjoying you know how you know certain albums sound good post processing of um you know the 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 the, the, the processing that streaming services add onto a track you know when i go into title i highly recommend you go into title and actually listen to music um in high fidelity especially for all the albums out there that are marked with the master label um you know you can just really hear what the records sound like but not everyone is listening on title spotify as you know is still the main kind of big boss uh, when it comes to streaming so we'll take a listen to the track and then we will kind of look at how we can really deal with our vocal mix and make sure that it gels with the drums, making sure that you have a consistent mix across all streaming servers. So let's get into it. Oh, yeah, but you acting like a cop. Um, yeah, pull up with the gang, got no time for a hater. Born like the NBA, think that I'm a Laker. Switch play, cut them all off, cause they phony. Instagram stalking on my phone, she's too nosy. Think I'm Weezy F, hot boy in the summer. Me and two brides, might just pull up in a Hummer. When the time, I just had to get it. I'm all lonely Shooting in the gym Now we ballin' like Kobe Heard that boy hating Cause he's sitting on the bench now Ex-girl calling me Said she wanna hang now I don't wanna talk now Can I spend time now We got no money Racks all on me Alrighty, and there you go. It sounds good. Um, I have tested this using... There's a really cool plugin Which I highly recommend you guys and girls to download And that is the... Um... It is called the lame extension i think something like that um yes the lame vst i'm not going to add it right now because it adds a ton of latency to our project but this is something that will actually um i can actually turn it on and then just have it off there but what it is if we load it up real quick is basically it allows us to listen to our track in any sort of bit rate and this is really what spotify is going to be doing to your track you generally have a wave file okay while mixing and that is a lossless wave file 32 bit hopefully um you know and it is just uncompressed audio but once you go ahead and upload your music from a wave file i highly recommend everyone to as i said before um render your mixes down to 16 bit uh wave file the highest quality wave file you can get and then allow spotify to do the compression don't upload mp3s to spotify because spotify already is going to add your track either to 320 kilobytes i don't know if they are doing 320 but they might bring it down to about 128 is generally the kind of low fidelity sound that a lot of mixes are going for and you know i'm pre ah, let's just turn it on might as well but you acting like a cop um, Yeah, pull up with the gang Got no time for a hater Born like the NBA Think that I'm a Laker Switch play, cut them all off Cause they phony Instagram stalking on my phone She's too nosy Think I'm Weezy F Hot boy in the summer Me and two hear how the majority of the vocal is still there right that's really what i've been aiming for and that's what this vocal chain is about so stick around and we're going to really break down how we can get this going so you know if i turn it down even more oh, yeah, but you acting like a cop um. Yeah, pull up with the gang, got no time for a hater Born like the NBA, think that I'm a Laker Switch play, cut them all off, cause they fuck 
you know, that's where we start to really hear that degradation. But, you know, generally 320, high fidelity. Boy, but you acting like a cop. Um, yeah, pull up with the gang. Got no time for a hater. Born like the NBA, think that I'm a late. We even get a little bit of nice kind of pleasant distortion out of that mp3 truncation or whatever the heck you would call it. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it, man. So, you know, auto-tune, we're using some pitcher this time around. Just that full, I don't even need to go through it. But this is where we get those two free VSTs that are really going to help our sound. We also have this tape plugin on the vocal bus, which is absolutely amazing. And I'll talk about why I do this. So, you know, one thing from the golden era that we can take away from the 90s, pretty much, which, which was the golden era of mixing, um, was that you know, rappers' vocals were going through tape, and tape had a really pleasant kind of natural uh, dis uh, characteristic. You know, I wouldn't say, even say distortion. It was more of like a natural compression that would happen to the vocals. So that's what we're really trying to emulate um, going into MP3, because often I listen to a lot of old school hip hop, and the vocals are right there. They, they don't really degrade um, as a lot of new music degrades. So we're using a tape plugin to kind of emulate that. We're slamming the tape a little bit, bumping it a little bit to kind of get a little bit of that low end lift going, and that is beautiful. From there on out, we are using this Transatia plugin and this is going to emulate our vocals running through a tube transformer device and we're getting that harmonic characteristic. So this is kind of making our vocals sound more expensive. This is definitely important for those who are recording with an audio interface, okay? Because you are pretty much running through an incredibly clean piece of gear that does not add any character to your vocals. So this is giving us free EQ, it's giving us free lift, it's giving us free warmth. Um, just by simply turning off the input drive. So try this out, try the different flavors, okay? Each mode has a different sound. Clean transformer is going to be more of a kind of, uh, you know, clean sound. Uh, it's just a transformer, it adds a little bit of weight. Uh, tube is going to give you more of that harmonic distortion. Uh, transistor is going to be more gritty. Op amp is also going to give you a kind of mid-range lift, kind of API style. Hopefully that's what um, the creative of this plugin is going for. So beautiful stuff. We use that on both of our main vocals, obviously. I decided to use some auto-tune on the second one just for certain parts of the vocal uh, that I just couldn't get right with the pitcher plugin. But, you know, it sounds good, man. And, you know, the overall vocal mix. It's not really doing too much, but it's adding just that little bit of sauce right there. So, you know, once we run into our main vocal section, okay, this is where we start to really... Uh, go crazy with our FL Studio plugin. So first things first, Fry's Vocal Enhancer. This is not a free plugin, but it is native to FL Studio, so I got you there. But you can obviously just use two bloody overdrives. I've left the slot open, so you can just double up on this to get a bit more character out of your vocal. But again, this is as if we're slamming into a really nice kind of tube, uh, saturated, just to give our vocals a bit more lift. After that, we run into the fully uh, blood overdrive. This again is a distortion plugin. As I said, I really want to focus on getting a kind of saturated sound that's going to do a lot of the heavy lifting of our mix that you can't really get with tweaking like with an EQ or tweaking with the compressor or something like that so we really need to add saturation to our vocals and this is what FL Studio has to offer so we'll use it and it sounds really good um, th these are the kind of settings I've ended up with um, you know you you can do a little bit here and there I like to adjust the color keep kind of keep it in the middle adjust some of that preamp to get some of that distortion out of there definitely don't enable this while you're listening loud because it will blow up your vocals so cool after that, we obviously need to start cleaning up our vocal sound. This is generally where I'd add an SSL EQ. For those who know, I'm big into the SSL sound. But we're doing something similar uh, this time around. And that's just to kind of get rid of everything below, I think, I was going for around, I don't know, 120. I can't really see right now. But, you know, getting rid of some of that 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 bottom end that we don't need because obviously the 808 is there. Being too broad, might just pull up in a Hummer. When the time, I just had to get it on my lonely. And that's really going to get us a kind of upfront gritty kind of modern rap sound. So get rid of that, dip a little 140. You know, obviously I want you to adjust this EQ a little bit and see where you can tweak. I think I'm removing a little bit of 304 as well, a bit annoying. And, you know, just leaving the mid-range. Definitely don't deal with the mid-range too much. We're allowing our saturation to deal with that mid-range and just kind of naturally compress our mid-range with um, the tape plug-in and the, the saturation and whatnot. Uh, from there on out, there are always going to be certain frequency areas that are going to overshoot and not sound good. So we want to deal with that by notching out. Uh, definitely don't just notch randomly, notch with intent. So you can see 4-2, really annoying, didn't want that to kind of stick out in the mix. And I think there was a bit of a gap in the beat, so we wanted to deal with that. So we deal with that, and then again, around 10k, just a slight dip. But everything above that, around kind of 12, 14k, we're going to give a bit of air to. And if we've saturated our vocals correctly, then that air boost just sounds super pleasant. So beautiful stuff. Uh, so after that, man, 
again compression because we need to clamp down our vocals okay we can't be just allowing our vocals to be jumping up and down so compression is what you're gonna be wanting to use to really just kind of clamp our vocal together just to really glue our vocals together and you can see this vocal is quite consistent but on certain parts you know you can see certain parts just kind of jump out for example over there and we want to be able to deal with that with the compressor you know, because they phony, that all sounds really nicely kind of uh, packed. Sounds cool. It just kind of compresses well. And if you've compressed well, you'll gain two things. You'll gain consistency in volume, but you'll also gain a consistency horizontally, meaning that your vocals are not going to sound too trebly or too bassy. It's not going to sound lopsided in any way. You're going to have a more consistent frequency response in regards to your vocals if you've recorded well. Obviously, this is not a treatment for badly recorded vocals. I urge everyone to learn how to record. So, yeah, man, after that, you know, I'm running out of options now since we only have stock plugins to use, but we've always got the trusty sound good eyes. I wanted something that was going to add a bit of kind of secret sauce to the mix. Um, and Sound Good Eyes is not a bad plugin. This is an old school plugin. It's essentially Maximus. Uh, it's one of the presets for Maximus. And uh, B sounded good on the vocals. Some of them sound a bit too kind of, um, uh, I would say, too airy, too bass boosty uh, and unnatural. But B just really works well. I urge everyone to try out what works for them. So, yeah, man, really simple plugin. Can't really speak too much about it. After that, multi band compression. I would generally go for a Wave C4 in this instance. But this is exactly the same um, philosophy, is that we have all of these things going on, these different bands. This is a three-band parametric um, compressor and three-band multi-band compressor, my bad. And, uh, you know, we can pretty much compress different regions. As you can see, we have that first region, second region, third region, which is our low, mid, and high band. And we can treat each one differently. If you look at this little C um, gauge right here, we can see how much compression we're doing when the red level rises. So let's kind of look at how much we're doing. And as you can see right there, just once in a while we are going to be compressing. We don't want to be doing too much. So really cool stuff, man. I prefer using this FIR type filter i don't know what it means i haven't read into the manual but for some reason the iir doesn't sound too good in my opinion so um i'm a i'm a big fan of this version right here i think it sounds more pleasant on vocals so you know that out the way after that we start getting a little bit crazy i'm running out of options as i said i want to get the most kind of analog character out of our sound without um resu resorting to like paid plugins and stuff so what we're going to be doing a little bit of hardcore and this is going to be adding a little bit of magic dust that's something that i gain when i'm mixing analog is, is is running through all these different kind of pieces of gear gives you a little bit of something that you can't really explain nor can you kind of emulate without doing something crazy and this is how crazy in this instance in the box craziness and what i'm doing i loaded up just this default preset uh, as it is i'm pretty sure and i just slightly tweaked everything a little bit and if you actually listen to it with more um mix in right we're only doing about three percent of that uh, because generally analog is not going to add on like 10,000% of a difference. Uh, it's all subtle, it's all subtle. But if I turn this off, you can actually hear that, or turn it up, you can hear that the vocal actually gets softer, so. So we gain two things out of that insanity, right? We gain a really cool flangey tape sound, but secondly, and most importantly, we trim away some of that treble. So we actually keep some of that mid-range, but we get rid of the volume of the treble section, and that's really going to be cool. So, you know, that's what I liked out of this. We get a little bit of tube distortion. We boost in the high end, um, although it kind of vanishes in the, 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 the chain that we have, and we gain something really cool. So, you know, that's what we do. After that, I wanted a stock plugin that was going to add some really cool compressor kind of vibe and i decided to go for this uh compressor in the hardcore plugin you can hear how much source this thing has um. I don't know, it just has this thing that's being added. I'm obviously not doing any EQ or cabinet because that's just going to make our, our, our vocal sound weird. 
We don't want our, our, our vocal to sound like a death metal guitar. So, you know, there you go. We can still utilize some of the, the units. Um, you know, we can use a little bit of delay, obviously, and mix it in. We can do really cool stuff with this plugin. So, really cool stuff. Um, after that, we're using the Fruity Convolver. So, for those who don't know about the Fruity Convolver, this is actually a convolution style reverb utilizing samples of certain rooms. And we have this EMT plate, which is an old school uh, hardware unit. And it just adds a really subtle kind of reverb to our vocal to give it a little bit of stereo space. So, you know, that sounds good. Rich play, cut them all off, cause they phony. Instagram stuck in on my phone, she's too nervy. They come with the F hop boy in a and that just really helps that kind of flanger and everything else that we had in stereo just kind of gel into the mix. So really cool stuff, man. Um, after that, you know, main vocal bus, using a bit of EQ, using some limiting, again, tape, but most importantly, using some of the stereo spread right there, just a little bit to help us kind of spread that, that reverb as well as to help us spread that double that we have going on. Um, and there again, we're using some convolution style uh, distortion in this case, really cool stuff and all sorts of just madness going on. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it, you know, that I really want to run through in this mix. Um, I can do another video covering some of the mastering in a different mix, I think. For this template, I've also included presets for my secret chain. Uh, you can hear this right now. And this, for those who don't know, is um, my technique to actually getting um, a really good sounding mono mix. This is how I'll always, at the end of my track, make sure that the main vocal is not popping out of the beat too much. I will basically um, create a ISO uh, monitor VST and then I'll just mono it in, right? So that just adds a mono signal and then from there on out, I then um, mute the right channel, basically just solo in the left channel and we get a true mono signal coming out of one speak and that allows us to basically um, just monitor in mono on one speak and that's going to help us kind of, uh, you know, emulate our cell phone speakers so really cool stuff man lots going on in this template i urge you to check it out um and yeah man have some fun mixing have some fun uploading to spotify spotify is definitely the new radio radio is dead um radio quality also sucks so we are gaining a little bit by being able to provide our music on streaming services i'm personally the biggest fan of of uh, title because i just love the fact that we can actually um have our stuff in master quality which is lossless and it's beautiful uh, for guys like me who listen and actually you know enjoy music so yeah man hopefully you enjoyed this video definitely make sure to smash like and subscribe definitely make sure to check out the links below for this flp vocal recording course vocal mixing course and vocal enhancer all for fl studio stay well and have a good easter i'll check out next time peace out